One of Britain's best-loved sporting personalities, the boxer Sir Henry Cooper, has died at the age of 76. A former British heavyweight champion, he was perhaps best known for his devastating left hook and his famous knockdown of Muhammad Ali, then known as Cassius Clay, in 1963. In the statement, Muhammad Ali described him as a great fighter and a gentleman and that he'd miss his old friend. Our sports correspondent, James Pearce, looks back at Sir Henry Cooper's life. <laughs> Henry Cooper's most famous punch, a crunching left hook, sent a young Cassius Clay to the floor for the first time in his career. The bell. The bell has sounded. Saved by the bell, Clay, later known as Muhammad Ali, went on to win after Cooper succumbed to the facial cuts which would dog his career. He always pays me the greatest compliment with that because he always says, Cooper hit me so hard, he said it didn't only shake me, it shook my relations in Africa. Henry was the nation's favourite boxer. No one will ever forget the punch that killed Muhammad Ali that glorious night, the most famous box punch ever thrown in a British boxing ring. And uh, but I understand he's been ill for some time, and obviously our thoughts are with his family and friends. Cooper began boxing as an amateur at the age of 15. If there's not a lot of Within three years, he was ABA light heavyweight champion. And Cooper's the winner on points and part of the British team at the 1952 Olympics. As a pro, he lost three title fights before taking the British and Empire crowns from Brian London in 1959. He held those titles for most of the next 12 years, defeating challengers like the talented Welshman Joe Erskine. I always think that was the best finish of any fight I ever finished, because I hit him with a left hook and he was out, he was, got, he was out, but as he fell, and he was falling sort of rather slowly. I hit him with about four or five other punches. And Cooper is badly cut over the right eye. In 1968, Cooper added the European title when the holder, Carl Mildenberger, was disqualified in the eighth round. So often, and he's declared the winner. And he... Retirement beckoned, but there was one last big fight, a 1971 defence of his British, European and Commonwealth titles against a brash newcomer, Joe Bugner. And there it is. It's At the bell, most people thought Cooper had won it. But the referee disagreed, awarding the bout to Bugner. He's given it to Joe Bugner. The first person to become BBC Sports Personality of the Year on two occasions. And splash it all over. He carved out a career as a popular man of the people. How would you like to be in a brute commercial? And in 2000, he became Sir Henry, boxing's first ever knight. The difference with Henry Cooper was that he... He transcended the sport. Not many people done that. He, he was much loved, and you know, outside of boxing, he made as he, he probably made ten times as much outside of boxing than, than he did actually in the ring. He wasn't perhaps the most successful boxer Britain has produced, but he was without doubt one of the best loved. Well, the American boxing writer Bert Sugar spoke to BBC News about his memories of Sir Henry Cooper. Henry Cooper was a legend over on this side of the pond uh, because of that punch. What people don't know about it, Sir Henry is that he was a turnaround fighter. He was a natural left-hander who turned around making his left hand one of the best left hooks in history. In fact, I have a book out called The Ultimate Book of Boxing, Boxing Lists in which I name the 10 best left hooks and Henry Cooper through what they called Henry Zammer, as well as anybody in the history of boxing. And it was that left hook in 19, June of 63 that knocked down then Cassius Clay and really knocked him out. Under today's rules, he knocked him down in the fourth round. The count by the referee, Tommy Little, got to four, and the bell rang. Today, that bell would, would have rung and the count would have continued because when Clay got up, he wobbled over to his corner. His trainer, Angelo Dundee, had to sit him down. They gave him smelling salts. They poured ice down his trunks, and Angelo found a little tear in Clay's glove and was demanding a second pair, buying precious time. And that time allowed Ali to recuperate, and he stopped Cooper in the next round. But that one punch was history. Henry Zammer almost won him a fight over the then and for a long time undefeated Cassius Clay hyphen Muhammad Ali.
Well, he was the British heavyweight champion who made his name with the knockdown of a young Cassius Clay. Despite a career in which he won no global honours, the gentle giant of British boxing will be remembered for his incredible goodwill and public support. Sir Henry Cooper, a man known affectionately by the British public, sporting and non-sporting, as our Henry. He transcended boxing. He was, a, he was a true gentleman and he was considered a gentleman of sport and uh, obviously had a huge uh, place in the public's, uh, public's affection for him. Cooper was most famous for his punishing left hook, Henry's Ammer, the punch that felled the then Cassius Clay. The first fight, um, if, he, if that round had lasted perhaps another 10 seconds, there's every chance that Henry would have changed the course of history because I'm, everybody who was there, and I was there, was convinced that he would have knocked him out. Cooper never managed to win a world title, but was a British, Commonwealth and European champion and an inspiration. He'd let you know his opinion, you know, whether, whether, he, whether he wanted to hear it or not. You know, he'd tell me you've got to keep, you keep, them, keep them hands up. He'd say, um, you've got to go out there, you've got to fight the best. And, you know, he, he did. And I, I believe the advice he's given to me over the years um, is, is worked out great because I'm now the, the heavyweight champion of the world. And Cooper's powers of influence extended even to crowd control when working as a co-commentator one fight night in the late 1980s. There was a riot, on, well, a near riot on that occasion. Somebody let off tear gas and there was a lot of unpleasantness in the crowd and we feared for our safety. Good old Henry got up into the ring, grabbed the ring microphone and said, come on, boys, let's have some sense, let's be sensible, let's just behave ourselves. And in the space of... A few, a couple of minutes, just him speaking to the crowd, they were back on side and back behaving themselves. Remarkable love for the guy. A love that stemmed from two characteristically brave performances against Muhammad Ali. Sir Henry Cooper, who died at his son's house just two days before his 77th birthday. Well, Amir Khan believes Sir Henry Cooper was an idol to him and all British boxers. Yeah, he had a lot, a lot of influence on my career, and I think most of um, most of the other British fighters' um, careers, because you know, in the day we all remember Henry Cooper be, being a great world champion and also a great role model, you know, for boxing and a great face of boxing, especially in Britain. I mean, I remember watching him, um, you know, watching a video of him when he fought Muhammad Ali and. You know, what a great fight that was. You know, he was a great face of boxing inside the ring and outside the ring. I mean, you know, he had some big, big fights. And, um, you know, he, 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 he was um, you know, a guy that we'll all remember as a nice person outside the ring. I mean, when you, when you speak to Sir Henry Cooper, you know, it was, it was just so good to speak to someone like that with such experience and, you know, what a career he had. In the boxing, and I don't think you know we've not had a heavyweight champion like him uh, in the, in the recent years. I know there's other heavyweight champions out there, but I think Henry Cooper had something special about himself, um, the way he carried himself, and the way he respected everyone. Uh, I was invited to an event, and uh, and they they asked me to to ask Henry if he could come. Now Henry Cooper could have easily said, "Yeah, it's not a problem at all." He had an agent that did all his work. He said, Johnny, listen, if there's one thing in life, make sure you're straight down the line with everybody and anybody. And uh, I'll have to do it through, do things through my agent. He said, I'm just giving you that advice, uh, advice as well. Uh, and and, and he, it was, that's what stood out for me. I just thought he was so straight, so genuine. And he's the kind of guy that you want to be, to represent fighting. He's, he's the kind of guy you want to, to look up to. You want the young kids to, to want to be like, to emulate. And it was just, just pure respect, just total respect for him. WBA World Heavyweight Champion David Hay said Sir Henry Cooper's advice and influence throughout his career has helped him reach boxing's pinnacle. He was, he was, he was, he was very sort of assertive, you know, he'd let you know his opinion, you know, whether, whether, he, whether he wanted to hear it or not. You know, he'd tell me you got to keep, you keep them, keep them hands up. He'd say, um, you got to go out there, you got to fight the best, and you know, he, he did. You know, he had, he had great, great domestic fights. You know, Brian London, and he, he was just a guy who, who you know, who said, who said what he wanted. You know, and you know, I, I believe the advice he's given to me over the years um, is, is worked out great because I'm now the, the heavyweight champion of the world. 
he transcended boxing. He was a he was a true gentleman, and he was considered a gentleman of sport, and uh, obviously had a huge uh, place in the public's uh, public's affection for him. He never won a world title, but he you know what, but what Henry did. He was he was I suppose you, what you could call it that true British grit. You know he tried and tr- he tried. He um, fought the Cassius Clay. Then fought um, then he fought Muhammad Ali, who then became for the world title done his best but unfortunately his weakness in boxing was that he cut very easily and he, he, he got cut in, in, in both those fights but what he did he did he did with a, with a hundred percent commitment and I think that's what won over the British public and that's why they liked him so much. Well Cooper who lost his wife and twin brother in recent years fought 55 times as a professional. Colin Hart the Suns veteran boxing correspondent was a close friend. Well, of course, the first fight, um, if he had left that round had lasted perhaps another 10 seconds, there's every chance that Henry would have changed the course of history because I'm, everybody who was there, and I was there, was convinced that he would have knocked him out. And then that would have meant that Cassius Clay wouldn't have fought Sunday Liston for the World Heavyweight Championship in his very next fight. So he could have changed the course of history with that one punch. When they fought again... Ali, of course, was well aware of the left hook, and he never gave Henry a chance to land it. And, of course, on both occasions, Henry was beaten on cuts. But, you know, when it comes to his boxing career, which lasted 17 years, he held the British Heavyweight Championship for nearly 12 years. That's a record that will never be broken. He was European Heavyweight Champion on three different occasions. Uh, So he had an illustrious boxing career. It's my opinion that Henry lost the will to live. That's just my opinion. There's nothing to do with the medical uh, reasons for his death. Because two years ago, his beloved wife, Albina, who was his left hand and right hand, died suddenly from a heart attack. He never really recovered from that. And then last year, his twin brother, George, died. And I was at the funeral. And you could see that, uh, you know, what it meant to Henry to lose his twin brother on top of losing his wife. And I, I think he went downhill from that moment. I think when he was like a, one of those sporting icons, really, not just because it's it not just for the boxing public, for sport in general. I mean, and he was Henry was around in the 50s, 60s, and 70s when really sport was only on um, terrestrial television, so everybody knew who they were. And um, he, he was lucky enough to for, to be around that era, and he was lucky enough to be around when well-known boxers were there. And he boxed them, so uh, he, he he was a great sportsman and a great personality. Henry Cooper's most famous punch, a crunching left hook, sent a young Cassius Clay to the floor for the first time in his career. Saved by the bell, Clay, later known as Muhammad Ali, went on to win after Cooper succumbed to the facial cuts which would dog his career. He always pays me the greatest compliment with that because he always says, Cooper hit me so hard, he said it didn't only shake me, it shook my relations in Africa. One of Britain's best-loved sporting personalities, the boxer Sir Henry Cooper, has died at the age of 76. A former British heavyweight champion, he was perhaps best known for his devastating left hook and his famous knockdown of Muhammad Ali, then known as Cassius Clay, in 1963. In the statement, Muhammad Ali described him as a great fighter and a gentleman and that he'd miss his old friend. Our sports correspondent, James Pearce, looks back at Sir Henry Cooper's life. The 1952 Olympics. As a pro, he lost three title fights before taking the British and Empire crowns from Brian London in 1959. He held those titles for most of the next 12 years, defeating challengers like the talented Welshman Joe Erskine. I always think that was the best finish of any fight I ever finished because I hit him with a left hook and he was out. He was got. He was out. But as he fell and he was falling sort of rather slowly, I hit him with about four or five other punches. And Cooper is badly cut over the right eye. In 1968, Cooper added the European title when the holder, Karl Mildenberger, was disqualified in the eighth round. So often, and he's declared the winner. And he... Retirement beckoned, but there was one last big fight, a 1971 defence of his British, European and Commonwealth titles against a brash newcomer, Joe Bugner. And there it is. At the bell, most people thought Cooper had won it. But the referee it was the nation's favourite boxer. 
no one will ever forget the punch that fell Muhammad Ali that glorious night, the most famous box punch ever thrown in a British boxing ring. And uh, but I understand he's been ill for some time, and obviously our thoughts are with his family and friends. Cooper began boxing as an amateur at the age of 15. If there's not a lot of... Within three years, he was ABA light heavyweight champion. And Cooper's the winner on points. And part of the British team 